Welcome back boys and girls and today I want to talk about the hypes that we have nowadays about the bone broth, how good it is for you. Well, it happens to be that in Asia that we've been using bone broth as a holistic medicine and as a health food for thousands of years. So we know how to make them and I want to share that with you and also the benefits that we get from the bone broth. We consider deer bone as more valuable because all the exercise you get, it's got more high concentration of nutrients and uh, it's 100% organic and it's got a lot less fat compared to uh, cow bones. So I'm going to talk a little bit about medical side or scientific side of the benefit we get from the bone broth. Well, first of all, it's got a rich concentration of uh, glucosamine, which is great for your joints. And it's got a high concentration of collagen. As you know, it's great for your skin, keep your skin firm and healthy and younger looking. And the high concentration of glutathione will help cell regeneration, thus keeping your uh, digestive system very healthy. High concentration of natural gelatin will help with your leaky gut syndrome uh, when you have like diarrhea, constipation, and some of the food tolerance. High concentration of calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium will strengthen your bone density, thus prevent osteoporosis. High concentration of glycine will calm your nerves down so you can sleep better. It will help you with some of the anxiety and depression. A high concentration of glutathione and amino acid will boost your immune system and also reduce inflammation as well. High concentration of glycine and chondroitin also helps your brain function to increase. It also helps to detox heavy metal and some of the toxins that we intake every day. Now you know why there's a hype about the bone broth and why a lot of people are switching from coffee to bone broth. The first step is soak the bones into the cold water. I had this sitting in the garage for about two hours now and you could see some of the blood has been uh, draining out. So before I go to bed, I'm gonna drain the water out and replace it with the clean water and have it sit in the garage. Tonight, it's gonna be about 29 to 30 degrees. So in the garage, it's gonna be pretty cold. It is sitting overnight. Let's take a look. Yeah, you could see some of the blood drained out. I'm gonna move all the bones from the pot into a clean basin. Okay, after cleaning out the pot, get a fresh cold water and have it enough so all the bones get submerged. And then we're gonna boil the hot water first. And when it's boiling, we're gonna put the bones in there so we can blanch them. Okay, now when the water is boiling really hot, you want to start putting in the bones. As you can see, as we blanch them, uh, you can see some of the blood and other kind of yucky stuff coming out. Now we're going to move the bones into the clean basin and then we're going to throw this water away and then we're going to clean the bones and then put it back in here and then we're going to start boiling it again. Now we're going to rinse the bones that's been blanched a couple of times and then start boiling it again in a different pot. To make the bone broth really healthy and yummy, we're gonna add these ingredients to our, uh, to the bones while we're boiling. We have two onions chopped in half. We got two cloves of garlic and some chunks of ginger, four chunks of radish and black pepper, whole pepper. And we got two large scallions. Because we have to cook it for eight to 12 hours depending on the amount of the bones, uh, we like to cook it outside. That way we don't stink up the house. You want to boil it in a high, high temperature and when it starts to boil, you want to lower the heat down to a simmer. You do not want to boil it in a high temperature because it breaks down the nutrients. And if you have cast iron, that really helps to simmer it well and brings out the rich flavor. It's been simmering for about three hours now. You want to come out and check it time to time. Oh, it's doing really good. We've been simmering it for about 10 hours now, so we simmered it all day long. And now we're gonna, oh, it looks really good. Now we're gonna turn the power off and then continue tomorrow. We had this sitting overnight in the cold. Let's take a look. We like to remove all the fats because it's healthier. And to us, it actually tastes better. I know some people like to have a little bit of fat in their bone broth, but we don't. And as you can see, the fat layer is very thin. That shows that this has very little fat to start with compared to a regular 
farm grown cow bone uh, broth and you can see how jellified this is already so I remove all the fat and even though this is really healthy for you as a medical doctor I don't believe in anything too much is good for you so we don't eat bone broth on a daily basis but it's more like a seasonal food yep you guessed it it's a deer season we reheated the bone broth so it be liquefied and now we're gonna go for the second batch now this is the first batch we're gonna throw away all the veggies inside and then we're gonna just take the bones out and save the first batch you know in the garage where it's gonna get jellified again and then we're gonna start uh, boiling for the second batch and then we're gonna mix two batches together and they will make it just perfect I'm going to remove all of the bones into this clean basin and at this point you could see the meat just falling off the bones. Oh man, this is going to be really, really good. We have separated everything. So this is the bones and this is going back to the second uh, boiling pot and that's going to be thrown away and that's our first batch. So we're going to start the second batch with all the bones and um, ingredients that I showed you before. The second batch has been simmering all day again, probably about nine hours. And it looks really good. Here's the second batch. And you can see how little fat it's got. I mean, barely there. But the uh, color of the broth is really good. First batch from yesterday, as you can see, it's jellified. And I'm going to try to remove some more fats on the top. That fat came out from the bone meal. So I'm going to skim that off. And this was from the second batch. Now I'm going to have, I'm going to mix both two and then reheat it up. Here's the final product. Let's take a look. Oh my, my. Oh, that smells really good. Now the color is really good. Smells great. That's at least five liters of superfood. And I know what we're having for lunch today. You're going to enjoy it for a while. Here's the moment of truth. <clears throat> oh my God, it's so good. I feel 10 years younger already. Wow, this is really good super food. Honey, one more please. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly try to stay young and healthy. See you.